Okay, so the first card is the wedge, which says someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. So somebody not really being very, very nice about things. They're trying to create a uh, wedge or they're trying to create a problem so that you can't achieve the goals that you want. Or even trying to break up a friendship. You've got the tower over here. You've been building on a really strong foundation, solid foundation and success with effort. So you've been working pretty hard and success will be coming to you because of that. And you've got somebody behaving really stupidly. And it might be this person who's trying to create this wedge between you and your friend or between you and your goal. And the path that you've got the money path, the path with money is waiting for you to find it. And uh, that speaks for itself. So something is out there for you. You just have to open your eyes and look or, you know, just try and use your intuition to find it. And you've got the hammock over here taking a vacation physically or mentally. So it looks like you are in need of some kind of vacation. You've been working pretty hard and it looks like you do need a vacation. So going to the future, you've got some good advice coming in from a friend. So somebody out there giving you some kind of information that is important and that will help you. And you've got the carrot, an opportunity or windfall. So, uh, you know, something is coming your way. There is a carrot uh, you know, uh, it's talking about a new opportunity or a new windfall or some kind of something coming in that's going to be very, very positive. So you've got some good advice. Just watch out for people that are not working in your best interest by trying to create wedges. Uh, and, um, you know, you are going to achieve your goal. It seems like things are are out there waiting for you to find them. So um, if an opportunity comes, it might be the one that leads you to uh, your goals. So don't miss opportunities that come your way. So um, this is the um, Witch's Tarot. I have shuffled this deck. I'm going to use it for the main read. Okay, let's see. The first card is the Ace of Swords, and this is new information coming in. You can see this um bird of prey bringing in this new information for you so something really important coming in it could be something um you know it has uh, which has legal connotations um either that or you are making a stand for yourself and you are deciding to cut everything that is not serving you out of your life so you are taking um back your energies now the um, this looks like an eagle and you know the eagle is the sign of scorpio so you are taking control uh, it's one of the, um, the you know, you have the scorpion and you also have the eagle and those are the mascots for Scorpio. So this looks like you are taking charge of that situation. It is the mascot that flies, elevates, it's almost like the phoenix. Uh, you know, Scorpio represents death and uh, transformation. And uh, this uh, bird of prey is showing that this card here with the ace of swords is showing you taking control of that situation, cutting out all the things that are not serving you, uh, maybe even using legal means of uh, getting the upper hand over the situation. So you are going to be very victorious in whatever you, you do and uh, a lot of information, insight, um, control, power coming back into your hand again. So maybe you were feeling a bit disempowered, but now all of that is coming in with that Ace of Swords. Now you've got the King of Cups and this is definitely your card and you are definitely sitting over there taking control of that situation. This card could also talk about, you know, having to... Um, uh, visit a doctor or some physician for any kind of health problem. So just, uh, you know, you might need that because you may have been going through some kind of stress-related illnesses. So that could well be the case. This is also talking about getting, you know, kind of counseling from people around you. Um, like I said, even seeking professional counseling um, because the King of Cups also represents the medical uh, field as well. So you could be doing that, you know, seeking some kind of medical um, intervention as well. But it's also a card that where it shows that you're taking control and you're on top of things, you are sorting things out. You've got the Moon card over here that's crossing it. So it looks like there may have been some issues with your health and it might all be stress related. And the Moon card is also about, you know, this is a card that is ruled by um, cancer. So, you know, this could have been that you were dealing with some a woman, um, you know, uh, some female. This could be somebody, you know, um, mother, mother figure um, uh, that you've been dealing with. Um, and, you know, there was a lot of confusion, a lot of problems, a lot of lies, a lot of deception, a lot of uh, anger. You can see there's, uh, you know, being bullied into doing things. You've got these wolves sitting in the background over here. And, you know, you had to really... Um, hold up your own against this particular person. This cycle is ending, so this confusion is going away. Um, and, you know, the moon always makes things 
look worse than they are so it might not as be as bad as you thought it was that situation this person might be also going through a lot of confusion that you're dealing with this mother figure because the moon also brings about you know uh psychological problems or it could be depression uh so you could be dealing with somebody of that kind of um um uh, elk if i can use that word um uh, but you are now you know you're not allowing this person this is you know the moon can be a very manipulative card so maybe this person has been trying to manipulate you and you have been dealing with that kind of situation because you uh, this card is crossing uh the king of cups and the king of cups is generally your card so you have um this was a challenge this was the the, the person that you were dealing with and maybe you're trying to sort that kind of confusion out at this particular moment so in the past, you've got the Nine of Swords. Whatever you were dealing with has been very, very stressful for you. Uh, you know, they, uh, like I said, lots of lies, lots of deception. But you're also going over it again and again in your head. Now, this has got the end of the moon, the last phase of the moon um, over here. So this is ending. So in this last year, you've been dealing with it and trying to end this situation. But it's been uh, leaving you very anxious. Uh, and also, the, this could be that, you know, you've, um, you've got some kind of... Um, stress-related illness that has been um, come up because of all this anxiety that you've been going through. And you've got the tower over here. So something happened in the last three months that caused a big uh, issue. It was something that was really big. Um, and it could have been, this is the card that is ruled by um, Aries or Mars. Um, and it could have been something that uh, been brought in by an Aries, Aries person, um, you know, that caused a lot of disruption, uh, a lot of destruction in your life and a lot of drama as well um you know you could have been thrown out of a situation that you were in so somebody came in and caused a whole lot of problems um you know you were very very stressed out already and then this big huge event happened uh, that caused a lot, of, a lot of problems and a lot of destruction and got rid of you know like i said you might have been thrown out of a relationship you might have been thrown out of a situation so you had to leave a situation not by choice but because um, somebody coming in and causing this kind of problem So what's happening with you? On your mind, you are um, thinking about leaving, walking away. You have got a new vision. You've got new insight. Uh, you know, you want to end this old situation. So something was very established. It seems like, you know, it was it was false establishment. So it really didn't exist because you've got the tower that usually destroys things that are not really real, if you like. And you've got the Eight of Cups now moving away from these cups look like, you know, it's a very established situation but you're walking away from it so you've turned your back on that situation maybe you've turned your back on this person uh there looks like there may have been two people that were involved in this this drama that happened over here and maybe where you thought you had uh, authority in it it seems like they have um you know uh, ousted you from that particular position because the crown is falling and it's quite a big crown in this particular deck and you are walking away from that situation. You have ended it and you are planning on walking away or if you've de decided, you've made up your mind, you are going. This person's not looking back. So you are walking your own path and you're going towards something different. Now, this is a card of a lot of blue in it. So there's a lot of healing that is also taking place uh, as you move away from that situation. And you're going to get everything that you want. You've got your independence. Maybe you, whatever you're doing now, you're, you know, you're by yourself. But you are very, very um, independent financially and you're sorting things out and you're looking after yourself and you are really enjoying your own company now. So maybe whatever you left behind was a difficult situation and now you now can appreciate all the things that you are working for. So you are coming into your own over here. Doorways are opening. You can see this gate is opened over here and you are getting your financial abundance coming in and your independence. So it is working and enjoying the fruits of your labor. You've got the Wheel of Fortune over here. So things have changed for you and you know you you wanted that change and you brought about that change and it, everything seems to be if you were going through a difficult cycle it usually brings about a positive change so you are in a phase of transition right now you are moving on you've got the knight of cups of years so this is how people see you they see you as a very um humble person a person who has a lot to offer to the world and a lot of things that you offer is going to bring a lot of healing you've got this cup that you're offering to the world and they see you as somebody you know that they can depend on and that they find uh you know emotionally reliable um, you might be moving as well moving away from the, the past because this person's moving to the future so you they see you moving away from an old situation and a person who, who has a lot to offer to the world now what you're hoping is that your dreams are, are uh, fulfilled you want the nine of cups you want that satisfaction you want that joy and you want that peace that is what you're going for 
and it doesn't matter it seems you know if you have to do it alone go it alone you are willing to do it just to get that peace of mind now with the eight of swords you're still feeling pretty much uh, trapped uh, frustrated uh, like you're not seeing everything that is, uh, you know, in front of you or around you. You still feel like there are ties to that old situation that you were dealing with. And it's very, very foggy. There's a lot of confusion. You can see even this castle in the background is encased in this fog. So things are not quite clear how, how it's going on. And you really can't see it because of this. It's, it's um, The blindfold is representing not being able to see things, come, you know, in the light. It, it's not self-imposed. It's like it's as though the situation has not brought or revealed things to you. Now, the page of wands is usually news coming in for you. So something is uh, coming in that's going to cause a movement. Uh, the page of wands talks about maybe travel. This could be travel. But there is some kind of news coming in that looks like it's going to be very dynamic. It's going to cause a shift or a change in the energy. And you've got the six of swords. <coughs> so I have to say that the news coming in is going to um, make sure that, you know, it's this is the card of victory with the Six of Wands, but it's also a card of having gone through a very difficult fight, a battle, a war, and then coming out victorious. And, you know, uh, there were a lot of um, um, victims uh, in the war, because, you know, usually lots of people die in wars, but you have come out a winner. So you have been through a very difficult, dramatic situation, but you have come out a winner. And the news that looks like it's going to come, that's going to come in, is going to be very positive news because it's being followed by a positive card. So some really good news coming, showing that you were right all the, all the time and that you are victorious. You will win in the situation. So although you're feeling very tired right now, um, uh, tied up right now, and probably tired as well, uh, there is some really good news coming in. And, uh, you know, it's going to show that you were right all along. And there's a lot of recognition uh, with this card. So people recognizing that you were right all the while and you are going to be a winner in that situation. So, um, you know, after you walk away from all the drama that has happened to you in the last few months and take back your control with this Ace of Swords, yeah, it seems like, you know, you get your independence financially as well as, you know, with everything and doors start opening for you. Um, you know, you start clearing out that confusion with the moon. And the Wheel of Fortune is coming in, so big change is coming in for you. So this is the Goddess Inspiration Oracle, and it's just some Oracle cards just to give you, a, you know, a, a encourage you to do things. So this says, encourage harmony in your home, uh, then good luck will follow. So you could have had, uh, this whole situation could be something that was going on in your family, and, you know, you need to, like I said, um, you know, make sure everything is calm, and no, don't fuel fires, don't uh, agitate people, try to just keep it uh, calm and walk away from any kind of situation that's going to escalate into um, a, a fight because it seems like there was a war that went on because you've got the victory, the six of wands but this card usually comes after there's been a big battle, some kind of big fighting going on so, um, you know, try to keep things calm and smooth find, and um, then you've got the, um, the goddess of um, eternity which says Find what is eternal within you. So you've got all the power within you to be able to sort this out. You've got to dig deep within you and you've got the power to sort it out. And you've got the keep of the apples, which is grow, garden, and share the fruits. So invest wisely, um, you know, whatever your time, your effort, your energy. Make sure that you're investing wisely. So I'm just going to draw some cards for the, uh, from the angel tarot. And that's for advice. So you've got the wheel coming in again here. So you've got the wheel of fortune here in what's going on for you. And this says a time for positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So things moving on in a very, very positive direction. Even if you feel you're, like you're a bit stuck, uh, you know, with this um, eight of swords, feeling very stuck and frustrated, it seems like the wheel of fortune is coming in for you and it's going to be very positive. Then you've got the six of water, memories from your history or childhood, issues uh, regarding children, uh, romanticizing the past so you might be stuck in the past but there's also might you might be dealing with issues uh, regarding your children if you have any or regarding your family over the six of water so you're dealing with those kinds of family issues so this looks like it might have been a family situation that you've been going through 
And then you've got the five of earth, which has fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So you are still worried about money, but it looks like, you know, you are going to be financially independent. So something is coming in for you so that you can get out of that uh, fear about money. So this might be unfounded fears. And since you have victory in the situation, it looks like, you know, you are going to come out on top. So this might be worries that, you know, but watch your money. Make sure that you are not overspending and, uh, you know, um, Maybe you just stop worrying so much because you've been through a lot. You've been through a very anxious situation with a very difficult problem uh, having, you know, got you really, uh, you know, it's really turned your world upside down and you're dealing with that right now. So uh, try not to worry too much. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in in a positive way. You can see there's a nice little pentacle over here. So money is going to be coming in. So it's going to be a positive change. And just stay determined and stay focused. This is a card of being focused uh, and don't let any kind of confusion uh, cloud any of your judgment. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.